One of the most unusual predictions of special relativity is that moving clocks run slower. But have you ever wondered what is the actual evidence to support that this idea is indeed real? You see, muons are subatomic particles created at the upper layers of atmosphere due to interaction with cosmic rays coming from deep space. These muon particles travel downwards with very high speeds of around 99% the speed of light. But unfortunately, they have a very short lifespan of around 2.2 microseconds. And yet, we find a very unusually high high number of muon particles at the sea level. One of the earliest experiments regarding this was performed by David Frisch and James Smith in the 1960s. They calculated the number of muon particles at the top of a mountain and compared that to sea level. Now classically, for such a short-lived muon that follows radioactive decay law, only 5% of the muon particles should be able to travel this height. But they found more than 70% of the particles at the sea level. And this is a very surprising result. As I said, muons have a very short lifespan. You see, one of the fundamental predictions of special relativity is that moving clocks tick slower. For an observer at rest, the fast-moving clock will appear to tick slow. And if we compare this with the lifespan of an average muon, a muon at rest would decay after 2 microseconds, while another muon traveling at 99% the speed of light will decay after almost 19 microseconds, 10 times more than what it actually should. This allows so many particles to reach the sea level, which would otherwise not be possible. 